So I shorted Rune. And you went to sleep. And I went to sleep. <laughs> it woke I woke up, up the, the next day <laughs> and I lost all my money. Three, two, one. Hey guys, welcome to a brand new crypto podcast. We don't really have a name for it yet, but uh, basically the gist of it is we're going to talk about uh, the gen stuff in crypto. And as you all know, majority of crypto media are all like on serious topics, uh, serious shit. Like for example, Coindesk, <laughs> like for example. First blood. This podcast, uh, which we just, uh, it's a pilot. Lah. So what we're going to do is we're going to talk about all the degen stuff and all the ways you Why your can- tone change on this? Yeah? If. You don't talk like that in real life. Hey, okay, ah, fine, 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 fine. Yeah, so- you want me to retake or what? We are going to talk about our experiences with degening in crypto. Oops. And yeah, I think let's get right to it. My name is Z. This is Jules or Julian. What you want to be called? Julian. Julian. Okay, Julian. More formal a bit. Lah. Okay, Julian. So uh, yeah, I think let's get right to it. Wait, so- wait, wait. Before that, I think mm. you have to adre- address the giraffe in the room. <laughs> I thought you cut. <laughs> why are you in a onesie? Why am I in a onesie? Hey, producers, why? Uh? Who, Who came, came up with this idea? idea? <laughs> but, okay, yeah, let's get right to it. Uh, so first things first, we're going to talk about what happened uh, this week. So the biggest news that happened this week was the Ronin hack. Hmm. So I think from what uh, most of the general crypto audiences understand was that uh, Axie Infinity's uh, sidechain, the Ronin network, they got hacked basically. So how, how did it actually happen? Uh? I think... What happened was that um, the, the the Ronin validators were hacked. This Ronin network right, is a side chain to the ETH um, network. So what happened was that technically they only had um, nine validators and five of them got hacked. Nine validators. Huh? So, so normally, right, uh, I know when we all stake all the stuff on other chains, right, we see like when the, we see the list of validators at like, what, 20, right. 30, 40, right? Huh, right. Ronin got nine. Huh? Yeah, and only they're, like king, they're like so so they're such a big company what the heck yeah yeah yeah. there's so much money behind it and there's only nine validators so so much for centralization right yeah decentralization sorry hey, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Up, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay so 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 what the hackers they did like a 51 percent attack basically right so okay, yeah. if you guys don't know what a 51 percent attack is so that's basically how crypto I think one of the only ways crypto uh, protocols get hacked or blockchains get hacked. Yeah, this so, is this is not the first time a bridge has been hacked. The the previous one happened in the Solana one. Remember the wormhole hack? Mm, yeah, yeah, that one was like what three hundred million, if I'm not wrong. Wow, that's damn lot. So next time we just become hackers. Uh. Yeah, why are we why are yeah. we hacking? Uh? Hey, yeah, that, that can become our side job. Uh. Like, <laughs> if we cut that out, cut that out. <laughs> so I guess uh, like so, people in the Philippines now they don't really have. <laughs> uh, why are you? Uh, Okay, yeah, sorry, la, sorry. La. I mean, okay, so fact, fact. Most people in the Philippines, they play XC as a main... No, a I think you said it wrong. It's it's most of the players in XC okay. are from the Philippines. <laughs> okay, most of the players who play XC are yeah. from the Philippines because the amount of income you generate from playing XC can be a substitute to a normal working wage. Correct. So how people usually cash out is via the Ronin like, network, right? So now they have suspended all like all transactions and now all of the uh, SLP and also the AXS are stuck in there. Also, oh, they, they can't do anything. La. So, yeah, so they can't do anything. Well, I still got my three axes inside. Yeah. So I bought I bought three axes when they were at the peak. When, when was that? I think middle of last year. Yeah. Then I got <laughs> bought a bit and then just left it in there. Then Okay, so coming off the XC hack, right? So like like I mentioned just now, like a majority of XC players who are, are, are from the Philippines. No, you said majority of Filipinos players. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, cannot cannot generalize a whole nation, but <laughs> okay. So, uh, coming off that hack, uh, I saw a tweet going around on Twitter, which mm. basically said, uh, Moody's downgraded Philippines debt to CAH3. So basically, they considered the entire nation's debt to be of a higher credit risk. <laughs> and uh, guess what? It's fake news. So <laughs> I almost sent that tweet to all our channels, <laughs> all our chain beef channels, our community, and yeah, almost almost shot myself in the foot. But yeah, uh, thank God for me and also Philippines that uh, their debt is still okay lah. It wasn't affected by a game lah. You said thank God for me. Yeah, I know. That was purposely, <laughs> purposely on, yeah, purposely on, yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, but uh, hope hope all, all go, everything goes well for all the uh, players. Yeah, so I, the Sky Mavis people, they actually said that, you know, um, all, all their AXS and SLP and whatever funds that anybody has in there is safe. 
Prevention is better than cure, I way. So I mean, I don't know why they just like never. I don't know. That was, uh, <laughs> why? That, that was just something that came <laughs> to my mind. But prevention is better than cure. <laughs> they they should have gotten their security like being tight in the first place instead of just having like nine validators. Yeah, yeah. Te- technically, after this hack, only they they decided to add more validators, which is very weird, lah. Like, why didn't they add before this hack happened, lah? Yeah, we're going back to the hacker, right? Have you seen the the tweets about the like the hacker withdrawing money into? Uh, FTX. No. So what is it about? Uh? There's this screenshot going around, like saying, um, "Oh, the the hacker that hacked this 600 million, right? Actually withdrew money into the FTX exchange, and then a lot of like tweets are going around saying that he actually leveraged short, you know, short the what? AXS and also um, Ronin, and then he lost it all. He hacked Ronin. He put it into FTX, which yep. means he docks himself to yep. FTX. And then he shot everything and he lost everything. Yeah, because AXS because because they said that because they thought that, you know, he thought that uh, people will be like, oh, they will notice this hack. And then when this hack happened, right, people will think, ah, oh, shit, I'm going to sell all my Ronin away. I'm going to sell all the AXS away because of this hack. But actually, this um, hack was only found out like a week after that. It was only found, it was only disclosed after a week. Not disclosed. I'm not, I'm not sure whether it's disclosed wow. or discovered, but. Apparently, right, Sky Mavis um, only announced that, you know, um, the Ronin network got hacked uh, of $600 million uh, like six days after the hack happened. Ooh. So how did they find this out, right? It's via this guy who wanted to uh, withdraw 500 ETH, uh, 5,000 ETH from the Ronin network. Lah. And they realized that, you know, the, the it's not happening. Lah. There's no money inside. Yeah, there's no money <laughs> inside. So the entire, so they, they panic. Lah. And then they found out that, you know, th- they got hacked after that. Maybe they were keeping it a secret and hoping no one found out. Yeah, we, we, they, they let their shack stakeholders oh, uh, take shag. out their money. They really them shacks, yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, this goes to show that <laughs> uh, liquidations and leverage are not fun. So, yeah. I mean, speaking of leverage, I think we've both done with futures before. Uh, yeah. Binance, FTX, 100x leverage. <laughs> so... I've never done 100x though. We had never done Yeah, I, the max I've went is 20x. Uh, which is painful what was your worst uh, experience with leverage oh my god so what I did right was I shorted rune oh rune yeah it was rune rune. Rune. dude it was down bad from like the all time highs it was like what's it 17 or 20 dollars yeah yeah and it went down all the way to like was it 2 dollars or 3 dollars around that price yeah single digit yeah then like it started pumping to like 4 to 5 dollars then I was like ah okay lah I'm gonna like short it lah because there's nothing coming up, but so I shorted Rune. And you went to sleep. And I went to sleep. <laughs> it woke I woke up, up the, the next day <laughs> and I lost all my money. Ooh. Yeah, so there was an overnight pump. I shorted Rune and just got liquidated the next day. Oh, wow, sad. Wow. I, I really I couldn't sleep like the night after that. Or even two nights after that. Wow, shakes yeah. But then after that, like do you still add all money into your account? Or do you like just got out of futures I after that, I just stop lah. Okay, yeah, that's good lah. Cause it's a very bad habit. Like for me also, like whenever I get liquidated, I try to add more money in hopes that I can get it back. So essentially it's gambling. Yeah, technically it's like going to casino eh. Yeah. Like you are just basically just betting something will go up or down. Like it's, 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 it's just playing at the roulette table. Speaking you know, like uh, of leverage, yeah. So my first time getting into leverage was uh last year so last year there was the crash right in like what may june really man you said there. you leveraged last time when no last time i pay pay like one dollar two dollar but then oh. last year right that was when uh after my shit coin phase uh, my shit coin phase was last year <laughs> like first like first quarter then after losing money on shit coins i went over to leverage then started leveraging uh right before the crash and then what happened was that I was looking at news, then there was the, the the news that caused the crash was basically China like banning like Bitcoin mining in their country or something, Again, right? Uh. Yeah, so that was last year. Then uh as soon as that news came up, right, I shorted BTC. And then because I was stupid up back then, I didn't know like how much money I should I should put inside. So mm. I basically put like 1k up. I put 1k in, I shorted BTC like 20x. On the same day, like uh around 8, 9 o'clock, uh I looked at my profit. So it went up to like uh, profit of like 10k. Oh, but wow, that's a 10x. But, but 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 when I tried to close my position, Binance went into maintenance mode. Oh, you got yes. rocked by Binance. Yes, yes. <laughs> so that night, uh, my position was closed, and then when I checked my account, right, I only profited 1k. Okay, lah, 2x, but I've gotten so much more. 
Then after that, I went to Twitter, I went to Facebook, I went to check Binance's uh. account, right? Wow, everyone was scolding them. They was calling Le- CZ out and everything. So. Oh, is that even legal? That's wow. why I mean crypto isn't regulated, so I guess so. No wonder so, they are banned in Singapore, la, right? Maybe, la, maybe. La, but well, after that, I never really touched Binance anymore. So I went over to FTX. Then FTX also uh, yeah, got a few a few uh, good calls, profits, mm. but then so got liquidated a few times. I think ever since ever since then, I've uh, drastically reduced my like uh, betting size, la, my position size, uh, averaging everything. Yeah, I think after like this few like experiences that I had with leverage trading, right? I think it's better to buy spot. Yeah, la, just be careful guys when you leverage. Uh, no, no, don't leverage, don't uh, leverage. Uh, don't, yeah, don't just be careful guys, don't leverage. No, just, buy, just buy spot, yeah. April Fool's just happened. So, Jay Chow got hacked. Jay Cho? Jay Chow? Jay Chow or Jay Cho? Jay Cho. Jay Chiu. <laughs> Jay Chiu, uh, Jay Chiu. Okay, you just say Jay, Jay Chiu. Jay in between, uh, middle ground, middle ground. Jay, okay. Jay Chiu got hacked. 500 million. I no, think. no, 500 no, million. Man. Half 500. a million. <laughs> 500 million is somebody's. <laughs> it's a country's Dilla. network. It's a country's Dilla GDP. <laughs> no, <wait. laughs> Why are you throwing shit at them? Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so he lost like 500,000 dollars worth of NFTs and also tokens. Wow, so mm. it was what? It was a BYC, MYC, yeah. and two doodles, I think. Yeah, and then he posted on like uh, Instagram. Yeah, like, so uh, no, actually on his, uh, he posted on his stories, then everyone thought it was a prank. Then mm. after he posted uh, an Instagram post on it, then mm. like, yeah, he, he himself thought it was a prank, then ended up like he lost uh, 500k, so. Yeah, it's painful. Oof. Like hurts. Actually, not just J Chow got hacked. Like the the you, the discords of like all these prominent NFTs also got hacked. Um, B A Y C, mm. Doodles, Kaiju Kaiju Kings. Kaiju Kings also yeah. got hacked. So apparently, what they are saying is that the Capsha bot and also the the Ticket Two got hacked, and then like they started posting like fake mean links and stuff like that. Oh. Yeah, actually, people fought, fought for that. Like, what what were your projects that you got hacked on? Not hacked lah, but I just clicked on the. Uh, fishy min link was a uh, fortune friends club <laughs> yeah what? so yeah so do you know the 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 one with the power Wait, the power hit? yeah is isn't that legit no 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 as in before there was min, a fake uh, the day before the min thing i think they got hacked then the they off they turned off the chat then announcement they posted a min link they said oh, oh early min or something then i was like oh damn hype lah because the uh. the, the nft looked really nice i wanted to get in then this min then lost like point something if like oh point shit two? point two if was it i don't know wow, that's a lot yeah I guess the tuition fees are there. After that, that was the last time I went like into NFTs. Again. But it wasn't refunded lah. No. Oh no. Yeah, no. But yeah, I think uh, we've covered all that we want to talk about today. Do yeah. you have anything else ah? Uh, I think that's all. How do you end ah? How do we end? Uh, abruptly. <laughs> hey guys, in all seriousness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, juice, juice, juice. Hey guys, in all seriousness, we're trying this new format out and we... Hey guys, in all seriousness, we're just trying this new format out. We hope that there's an audience for this kind of content, you know, just us talking shit about crypto. Um, like all every everyday stuff that is happening in crypto. And also, we don't have a name for this podcast yet. So leave your comments down below on what this should be called. And you know, we might even pick it as our name. And do remember to like, share and subscribe. Thank you.